Well, before COVID hit, I would see about 20 patients a day in the clinic, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Now I only work in the clinic on Wednesday and Friday afternoons, and I see about six patients each afternoon, only to do procedures or do physical exams. The rest of the week, I see the same number of patients, but it's online using a video system, which was designed specifically for medicine. This has made everything much easier. We don't have any risk of infectious disease transmission. The number of patients coming to the clinic is dramatically down. Overall, with the clinic, we are only seeing about 20% of the practice in house and 80% online after the emergency ends. I think that this is a permanent part of the practice. Well, first of all, ties are not to be worn during pandemics. People don't launder ties and so they can carry disease vectors. So I haven't worn a tie since March. Notice I'm not wearing one right now. Second of all, I wear a white lab coat uh, whenever I'm seeing patients now so that I can be laundered each day at the end of the clinic. And that way we can maintain a higher level of cleanliness. I also wear an N95 mask, face shield, and nitrile gloves with the patients. I change the nitrile gloves after each patient, wash my hands. So the seeing the patients in the clinic is separating. We make them wear a KN95 mask if they want to come in to see us. We're wearing an N95 mask and a face shield. We have lab coats on, we have gloves on, so that when you're seeing these patients, you're not getting as personal communication with them as you as we used to. A surgical mask is basically a rectangle, which you wear strapped around your head. It's open on the sides, it's open in the front. The only value of the surgical mask is it prevents the person wearing it from transmitting diseases as readily to other people in the room. In no way does it protect the person wearing it from disease vectors. Any inhaled pathogen can be inhaled around the sides of the mask. The N95 is the American standard for masks to protect against disease pathogens. It has a 95% reduction in transmission. They've been very effective and I haven't seen an N95 failure. The KN95 is a Chinese standard. Uh, it has a 95% reduction in transmission as well. It's much lighter material. It's easier to breathe through. There's a perception that it is inferior to the N95, which is much stiffer, thicker material. Both of them will uh, be airtight across the face. The way you know the mask works is you hold a candle in front of you. And you should not be able to blow it out. If you can blow out a candle when you have your mask on, that mask ain't going to protect you from COVID.